so we're gonna start. Um, hi everybody, thanks for joining us. Uh, my name is Gabby, I am going to be your program lead today. My name is Dixie, I'm going to be kind of a backup lead and we'll be working on more of the behind the scenes Zoom stuff. I'm also a cruise member. I'm Jalen, I'm also a cruise member and I'll be helping out with, um, I'm gonna be doing the flip cupping, cup flipping of our program. My name is Dana, I'm also a cruise member. I will be your second cup flipper today. So hopefully I rep y'all well. And hi, I'm Kojo. I'm gonna be one of the leads to discuss um, on the discussions and helping you in breakout room. Um, I'm Camille, I'm also a cruise member and I'm gonna be helping the other breakout room uh, with the discussion. Hi everyone, my name is Yaslan. I'm also a cruise member and I'll just be observing for today. Alrighty, cool. Now that you guys have met all of my wonderful cruise members, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about cruise. Um, cruise is, stands for creating respect, educating wellness for students by students. Um, we are a peer led non-judgmental group. Um, we try to strive for an all inclusive type of feeling throughout our programs and stuff. So if you all have any comments or any ways we can improve on that, we do feel free like to let you guys contact us, let us know how we can always improve. We're always looking for ways to get better. So um, we are going to be doing a program today about um, our alcohol safe, it's an alcohol safety program. It's called Tipsy Cup. One of our cruise members actually made this in one of our most recent meetings. So we're gonna go through it and see how it goes. So I hope you guys like it. Hold on, um, Gabby. Um, before we go through the rules of Tipsy Cup, and I know we just had a couple of people just join us. I believe Arlie has some announcements to make. Oh yes, Arlie, go for it. Yeah, I just wanted to thank everybody for being here today, for coming to this cliff, um, especially our students. Um, and I also wanted to, ask for everybody to send me your full name, please, as well as um, if you're in Thrive or not and your CSU ID, I'd really appreciate that so I could take attendance. And then I will also put in the link for the evaluation form. Um, please, please, please take that so I can count you for, down for credit and so that we can also help improve um, the Thrive program as well as the um, cruise program. But yeah, thank you. Okay, cool. Um, do I have access to screen share, Dixie? Let's find out, I guess. I believe so. Could you check that again? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Coolio, can you guys see my screen? All right. I'll go ahead and put that in present mode. Oh. Nice. Pretty. Um, cool. Can everybody hear me? We're gonna start. Okay, so I'm gonna go over the rules of tix, Tipsy Cup super quickly. Um, basically, we are going to be asking questions. Oh, yes, Camille? Gabby, I can only see a white screen. Is that what you're gonna say, Camille? Uh, yeah, I, I didn't mean to raise my hand, sorry. Can, oh, really? Interesting. Yes. Okay, well, as a backup, I will screen share. Already, yeah. I have no idea why it's showing white screen. Okay, so stop um, screen sharing, Gabby. This is fun. We always have technical difficulties. All right, can people see the PowerPoint? I can see it, yes. And um, everybody, like, I don't know if your camera doesn't work, but also it is very helpful to us if this is interactive. It makes it a lot more fun. It also lets us know if you can see the PowerPoint. So even if you can't turn on your screen, if you could at least send like a thumbs up emoji reaction, that would be very helpful. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Moving Nettie. forward, sorry. Thanks, Dixie, for helping me out with that. Yep. Um, so I'm going to go over Tipsy Cup really quickly. Um, basically, we are going to be asking you guys some questions and you guys are going to have the opportunity to break out into two groups. 
Um, each of the groups are gonna have the chance to talk amongst each other, um, basically figure out what you believe the answer to be, the correct answer, um, talk about why you guys think that answer is and just normal group discussion. We're gonna have a chance to come back together as a big group, um, discuss, ask each other like what you thought the answer was. If you guys get the answer correct, your team leads are gonna have the opportunity to play flip cup for you guys. And if your team lead flips their cup and it lands right, right up, then you guys are gonna have the opportunity to go for a bonus question for more points. Um, if you don't make the cup, you do obviously sadly don't get the bonus question, but hopefully we'll have some fun. So we're gonna break off into two groups now. And I think Dixie, you had the flip coin thing. Right, um, before I do that, does anybody feel like being, let's see, let me create these real quick. Does anybody have any questions about what Gabby just went over? I think it will make a lot more sense after we do our first round. And we can treat the first question as a practice round as well. Right. So here is a question though. Um, who, uh, Donnie and Brian, do you, do you mind being, um, I just need you to be quick team captain on something just really quick. It's literally over calling a coin flip. Okay. Sound good? Yeah. Okay. So let me share the screen again. Okay. So uh, heads. One of you call it. Okay. Heads. Who called heads? Uh, I did. Okay, congrats. You'll get to pick, your team will get to pick then if they want Dana or Jalen to be their cup flipper. They were practicing last night, just so you all know. Sounds good. So do you want Dana or Jalen? Uh, I was we'll just practicing. I have a choo-choo. <laughs> Can I get Jalen? <laughs> was a choo-choo. I'm not very good at it though. Dana's a lot better at flipping the cup. <laughs> don't don't put me up on that yet. <laughs> Alrighty, cool. Well, we're gonna have the chance to organize you guys into two groups. Um, we encourage choosing a group name. Please make sure that when y'all pick your group names, that it's gonna be inclusive. We're not trying to offend anybody here. Um, but overall, just have fun. Okay, so. Gabby, could you try sharing your screen one more time with the PowerPoint? Yes. It'll just make doing the breakout rooms a little easier. It's good to see more people with their cameras on. That's awesome. No yes, bad. okay. We can see we can see things. All right, this is great. Yeah. Okay, do you want to ask the first question and then I'll break out everybody into two breakout rooms? So can you guys see that? I see head nods. This is good. All righty, cool. Just making sure. Um, yeah, so we're gonna start. Okay, cool. Question number one, which will get you drunk faster? Option A, mixing hard liquor with a carbonated drink like soda, or option B, mixing hard liquor with a non-carbonated drink like orange juice. Okay. I'm going to give you all a couple minutes in your breakout rooms, and then you can come back with your answer. I see room two is doing pretty good. Um, did you all come up with a team name? We did. Camille, you want to talk about that? Yeah, it's... It's what? <laughs> I can't hear you. It cut you out. <clears throat> Does somebody else want to say the team name? I think, Camille, your audio just cut out. Um, we came up with Bottoms Up. <laughs> nice. Sorry, I'm not sure. Maybe my internet cut out there. Oh, yeah, I think it did a little bit. Hey, Kojo, did you guys come up with a team name? 
Uh, yes, we came up with an answer. And a team name? Shoot. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, shoot. We didn't come up with a team name. We That's didn't. totally fine for now your team Kojo until you come up with a different one next time. All right, Gabby. All right, cool. So I'm going to go ahead and screen share again. Um, so team Kojo, um, what did you guys come up with for an answer? I guess anyone who was in my group can shout out the answer. We said option A. Option A. Um, yeah, you guys are correct. So where's Dana? Hi, Dana. So you want to go ahead and see if you can flip that cup? I'm ready to try to flip this cup. Gabby, you might want to um, stop screen sharing so that Dana is like on a bigger. Can everybody see? Okay. So if Dana makes this cup flip, Team Kojo, you will get one point and the opportunity to get a bonus question and another, and another point. Okay, y'all. Sorry. All right. I'll do so, better next time. <laughs> Hopefully next time you guys would get a chance for a bonus question. Um, we can steal bonus questions though, if I'm correct, right? Yes, you can. So team J, team, sorry, team bottoms up. Um, would you like to try to steal for that bonus point? I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Only if the other team made the cup flip, Gabby. Uh, yeah, let's see here. Okay, team bottoms up. Did you all come up with an answer? Yeah, we said um, the carbonated one. So, yeah. So option A, so you both got it right. Jalen. I'm going to attempt this. And then, I don't know, I showed the other, I showed my team, but... Um, our cool cups change color if you put cold water in them. And I had some cool water. So and you made it go bottoms up. And yes, I did. Well, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this now. Oh, oh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. You bottoms up. You have one point. You have the opportunity to get to answer the bonus question. If you answer the bonus question correctly, you automatically get that point. Jalen does not have to flip the cup for you to get that second bonus point. If you don't answer the question correctly, the other team gets a chance to get that bonus point without having Dana flip her cup. All right, I'm just gonna go over the bonus question super quickly and then we're gonna... And then you can decide. So team bottoms up, do you want to do the bonus question? It's up to you guys. <laughs> I'll break you out into breakout rooms again. You'll get two minutes. I see Donnie thinking. Who else is on Team Bottoms Up? Holly. Um, <clears throat> we have Holly and Ali and Piper. Okay. Down if you guys are. Uh, I mean, yeah, I'm cool to go for it. Okay. I mean, let's go for it. So bonus question number one, what factors may affect how your bodies absorb and metabolize alcohol? All right. Y'all have two minutes. Awesome. I'm seeing a trend. <laughs> All right, uh, Gabby, um, my team is going to be Kojo Shots. Kojo Shots? 
Yeah. <laughs> All right. Alrighty, thank you for doing that for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and show the question one more time just so we are all on the same page. Um, and then I believe that team bottoms up had came to consensus on what their answers are. So our bonus question was what factors may affect how your bodies absorb and metabolize alcohol? Um, does team bottoms up want to share their answer with us? I can share it. Um, they come up with uh, BMI, if you've eaten or not, and gender. So that is a really good answer. Um, BMI and weight have a lot to do with how your body will absorb alcohol. Um, not too much about gender, but more about hormones in your body. Um, and as well as the food and water you drink does affect how good you metabolize alcohol. Well, that means Team Bottoms Up gets two points and Kojo Shots, you did not get to steal that point. Team Bottoms Up, um, do you want to see, wait, who was your cup flipper again? Was it Jalen? Mm -hmm. Do you want to see Jalen make another flip? It's totally optional for you. It's purely for your interest. <laughs> oh man. It's okay. We don't have to. <laughs> next round. Next round. All right. Next round. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and screen share again. All right. Moving on to the next question. Myth or fact? Building up a higher tolerance means you can metabolize alcohol and sober up more quickly the more you practice drinking. All right. I'm opening up the rooms. We're just waiting on one more person. Okay, cool. welcome back, guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and share the question again. Um, and I I think since the last time we started off with Kojo shots, we are going to give bottoms up an opportunity to answer first. I'm going to read the question one more time. Um, myth or fact, building up a high tolerance means you can metabolize alcohol and sober up more quickly the more you practice drinking. Um, team bottoms up, does anyone, um, hopefully other than Camille, would like to share their answer? Um, I'll go for it. Um, so what we said is like in the first part of it, it is true that you can build up your tolerance, uh, the more you practice drinking. Um, but the second part is sobering up quicker. So our main answer is a myth, um, for it. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like, you can't like speed up sobering up, I guess. I love the reasoning in that. Um, so and your, your reasoning all the way through was great. So it is true that you can build up your tolerance more the more you practice drinking. And what that means is, is you're getting used to being more functional at a certain blood alcohol content. So great reasoning there. So that means Jalen, you're up again. Oh, okay. You got it right. Up. Okay. <clears throat> see if I can do Oh, well, Sorry. Team Bottoms Up, you're still ahead by two points for now. I'm sorry. Kojo Shots. We're going to catch up. Definitely going to catch up. <laughs> okay, Kojo Shots. Um, <laughs> what did y'all say? What was your answer and what was your reason? All right. Uh, anyone want to give up the answer? Brian or Brooks? Anyone? Not Kojo. 
Yeah, definitely not me. You can just say exactly what you agreed on. We said um, fact because um, comparing it to other drugs and um, seeing substance abuse and such, um, you can notice a pattern that um, an individual will start needing to take more and more to feel the same effect as they did the first time. So we said fact. Okay, um, it is a little bit of a tricky question. And one of the things to note is that even with alcohol, sometimes if somebody, somebody feels like they need more drinks to feel as drunk as they did the first time they ever went out drinking. So while they may not feel as drunk or as intoxicated, they actually have the same blood alcohol content. And so that is a really tricky concept, especially um, just observing that. Did anyone else have any questions on that, que on that question? Good reasoning, y'all. Okay, Gabby, we'll just skip the second bonus question and go to the third one. All righty. Okay, guys, next question. What is BAC? What does BAC? We are really quick when it comes to coming back to the big group, aren't we? <laughs> we are. You are, I mean. Okay. Okay, cool. I think that is everyone. Um, so since Team Bottoms Up got a chance to answer first last time, I'm gonna open it up to Team Kojo shots, or are we on number three? So is it the other way? Oh no, this is our turn. Team Kojo shots. Anyway, <laughs> you guys just got lucky. It's your turn. Um, so would anybody from Team Kojo shots like to go ahead and try to answer this question for us? Um, what is BAC? What does it stand for? Um, is it blood alcohol content? It yes. Is. I mean, it is, but that's not what we agreed on in our group. So we'll have to see what we agreed on. That's the, that's the point of the breakout room. Oh, oops. Yep. <laughs> <My bad. laughs> so Piper, do you want to say what you agreed on? Um, I said that it was the blood alcohol concentration, but yeah. So based on that, I, I hope we get some points at least. Um, absolutely. I think, I think it's still the same concept. So like going off of concentration, another way to think about it is if somebody has a BAC of 0.01%, that means for every thousand parts blood, there's one part alcohol. So I think they definitely, Dana, you still get a chance to flip the cup and earn your team some points. There we go. Gotta catch up. <laughs> that was so oh. close. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, y'all. I. Y I think I think you all should still get a point. Um, Thank you, Dixie. Good job. <laughs> good job. We don't have professional cut flippers, but we got we got what we got. I mean, we're taking shots at the questions, so <laughs> that explains it. It's been a slow year for cup flipping. <laughs> we're out of practice. That's, that's our excuse. All right. Um, Team bottoms up. What was what did you all agree on as your final answer? Someone want to say what we said? Um, 
Yeah, we all said uh, it was blood al alcohol content or yeah. Yeah. So, was, awesome. All right, Jalen, can you flip that cup? Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's get it. It's nerve wracking, guys. Let's go, Jalen. <laughs> Did you see that? It bounced. It made it, and then it bounced. It All right. Count. <laughs> so we are running a little shorter on time, but I think you both teams did a good job with that last question. So we'll go ahead and close out with bonus question number three, and that'll be our last question for today's program. Alrighty, cool. Gabby, do you wanna share your screen? Awesome. Yep. Bonus question number three, what are some common signs of alcohol poisoning? Well, hello. It's team bottoms up. Do I have to flip on this one? Only if your team thinks it'll be entertaining. No. <laughs> Let's see. It's always very entertaining. Okay. I suppose I can for the last round. No, I have a red solo cup somewhere. Like I really like wanna if well, you, you, you want to. If you want to. If you want to go for it, I would gladly give you mine. Let me see if I could go find one real quick. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we should have made that an option. That's you have good. your own cup at home. <laughs> yeah. Next time, program development. All right. And team Pojo Shots is also back. Alrighty, cool. So team Kojo Shots got a chance to answer first last time. So we're going to switch back again and we're going to see what team Bottoms Up had come up with. Um, let's just share the question one more time. What are some common signs of alcohol poisoning? Um, I would love it if someone other than Jalen, Camille, or Donnie could give it a shot <laughs> answer. I'll answer. <laughs> um, we came to a consensus on uh, chills, unresponsiveness, and vomiting. That is good. Um, that is good, yeah. Um, are we doing a flip covers or team co Kojo shots? <laughs> Let's see what team Kojo shots said as well. All righty, team Kojo shots. Um, somebody other than Kojo or Dana, would you like to answer? The more you say, the better. So. Um, oh, sorry. Um, we said dehydration, dehydration, uh, vomiting, potentially dilated pupils. Um, someone mentioned, wait, sorry, should I, should someone else go? <laughs> I'm like listing everything we said. You can go ahead and list them. And yeah, go for it. Okay. Um, a faster heart rate and maybe uh, like a change in skin color. Uh, maybe like they could be either uh, more pale or I was thinking uh, maybe a little flushed um, or uh, oh, and faster heart rate and maybe even a Aggression as far as behavioral goes, so like lack of responsiveness. I think all those are some really good ideas. I think really quickly, I'm going to go list off some common signs, and then we're going to see if Jalen can flip the cup since I think you guys both gave some really good answers. Right. Right. And well, actually, um, Donnie, did you find your own cup that you wanted to flip? You can go for your team if you want. Yes, he wants to. He wants to take the lead and flip the cup. <laughs> All right, Gabby, why don't you uh, read us off some of the common signs and symptoms of alcohol poisoning? <laughs> so some common signs and, of, and symptoms of alcohol poisoning is confusion, inability to communicate, um, vomiting, which you guys both got, um, needing assistance to stand or walk, 
slow or sorry, lower body temperature, which I think one of the teams got and slow or irregular breathing. Donnie, you want to go ahead and flip that cup? Yeah, we're going to try this. <laughs> you got this. Yeah, no pressure. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> Woo, Donnie. Nice. <laughs> I didn't choke. <laughs> okay. Um, does somebody from Team Kojo shot? Okay, Dana, do you want to flip the cup? I will, unless anybody thinks they can do better and have a cup at hand. Nobody? So I'm getting in position. <laughs> okay. We're believing do it. You. Oh, wait, that doesn't count. That doesn't count. <laughs> All right. Didn't practice good enough today. So our our winner was um, team bottoms up. It was four points to two, but you all, I think you all did a good job with your discussion and your answers. And also Dana's going to talk about this, but we have an upcoming um there's an upcoming program through the health network called GYT where you can get your own GYT cups to flip. Dana, would you like to talk about that? Jalen is doing a good job modeling it. Yes. Oh, I just poured some cold water in my <laughs> cup as I see Jalen is doing now. But yeah, so the CSU health network uh, runs this really awesome initiative called GYT. Um, it is stands for Get Yourself Tested. So the health center um, offers $20 STI testing for gonorrhea and chlamydia. Um, it is confidential, it doesn't go through insurance. Um, if you charge it to your student account, it only shows up as CS, like I think medical visit, something like that. It doesn't say like STI testing. So it's really confidential, it's really great. Um, it, it starts on March 22nd and it goes until August and or April 9th, sorry. Um, and due to the pandemic, it used to be walk-in, but due to the pandemic, it is appointment only. Um, so all you would do is call the CSU Health Network, say that you want to get an STI test through GYT, um, and then they'll book you an appointment and you can go in, it's really fast. Um, all you have to do is pee in a cup and you'll be out of there in mere minutes. <laughs> How much is it usually? Uh, it's usually about $120. So you save a lot of money. A lot. Yeah. Saving a lot of money. A lot of money. <laughs> how much, uh, sorry, how much did you say it costed? Around 120 or it's 90 Does anybody? Oh, I meant it? here at the CSU Health oh, Network. It's $20. From March 22nd? Until April 9th. And? Which is right before spring break. If you right have. Right <laughs> Any questions or if you want or and you want to let us know that you want to pick up a GYT goodie package, please email us at crew at colostate.edu. I just put it in the chat. Does anybody have any questions about GYT or about any of the content we covered today? Did anybody learn something new? I, I see know. some head nods. In that, What's that, first Donnie? One, in that first one I did, I thought I didn't think it was carbonated. Would it like increase your chances of getting more drunk, I think? I thought it was with the orange juice. And so learn something new today. Yeah. Good job, team bottoms up. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> We'll turn it back over to Galit and Arlie. I know that there's some stuff in the chat about the um, about the CLF survey. Yeah, well, again, please just, sorry, I couldn't unmute myself for a sec. <laughs> um, please just fill out the cliff evaluation form. Um, of course, we appreciate all the feedback that you um, get back to us, and we appreciate you guys coming. Thanks, to everybody. Yep. Um, if you, yeah, again, complete the evaluation form. 
Um, once you're done, feel free to log off. If you do have additional questions, we'll stay on a little bit longer. Um, you can ask us uh, separate questions or whatever, but once you're all done, feel free to log off. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Thank, Thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye.